was Rene Dupree had a lot of problems backstage and he actually got beat up in the ring once by uh, yeah. Hardcore Holly. What, what was the whole situation there? That well, uh, Rene was a, was a funny cat. Uh, he's, uh, the problem with Rene is he learned the business so young. So he was great in that square circle. You can leave him there for 24 hours, he's gonna know what to do. But outside the ring, he didn't know how the, the world worked, uh, how to behave and uh, socialize and logic, and he didn't have that. So I had so, to babysit him, but uh, it was not in my contract to babysit him. So I was not agree with that, but I had to do it for a while for the well-being of the team, but that didn't work too well. So, uh, and when we split up, I went on better days with Rob Conway, where we had a great, great connection. And Rene went uh, by himself and uh, people realized and by himself, he couldn't survive. He couldn't behave, uh, he couldn't act like an adult. And he got into sort of a fight in the ring that one day. Yeah. Um, not just directly about that, but is it common for fights to happen in the ring? Well, it no, it's not common, but uh, you know, uh, Sometimes it's, uh, it's a good lesson, it's a life lesson, I'm sure you learn from it. Uh, you didn't get that beat up, I think it was just an awakening. And uh, who better than Hardcore Ollie who did it. And I, I worked with Hardcore many times and uh, it was always fair and just. So uh, what happened was well deserved by Rene. And uh, I think was hardcore with just being the executor of of that uh, sanction, but he deserved it and he learned from it. I'm sure. Now a lot of the times fans that don't know wrestling or outsiders think that wrestlers are all friends. Would you say that that's true, or is there a lot of politics? That's no, true? there's a lot of politics. Everybody's stabbing each other in the back to get on top. 